Hey everybody, Ryan here at eTrailer. Today on our 2021 Chrysler Pacifica, we're gonna be checking out the Kurt Premium Hitch Mounted Bike Rack. So first impressions of the rack on the back of the Pacifica. Uh, it looks right at home, honestly, it makes sense. You know, this one can hold up to four bikes, so you can really carry around a lot of them to and from the trails. And if you need to carry an extra one, there's also a five bike version uh, of this available as well. Um, one of the one of the reasons that I actually like this is it's super simple to use, really easy to figure out, and also especially on a vehicle like the Pacifica, uh, I like the fact that these arms kind of come in a little bit and get a little more narrow, and so that's going to be really convenient for those of you uh, that lug around some kids' bikes. You know, some bikes that have smaller frames going to be a little uh, more forgiving when you go to put these on compared to some of the other racks that have you know, wider arms. So convenient there with that said though too you know you can still put a full frame bike on these end end pieces uh, if that's what you need so uh, either way is fine with that said though why don't we just kind of check out the rack and and uh, get our bike off so we can have a better look at it so you're gonna have three straps a strap here and another one on the top too just pull them off and with this one down here this is gonna uh, act as an anti-sway strap and help prevent a lot of side-to-side -side movement. That way your bikes aren't, you know, banging into each other as you're going down the road. Uh, that one's going to work the same way. And we can pull our bike off. And also these arms getting a little more narrow here at the end make it a little easier and more manageable to take it off as well. So the cradles here where your bike's frame is going to sit, you can actually rotate these things and they're all each side is shaped a little bit differently and so it can really uh you know help accommodate your bike's uh style of frame so you can rotate them and whatever fits the best that's what you can go with and there's also a bunch of anchor points as well so um you know if the strap works better like this by all means you can do that if it works better like this so you really have a lot of adjustability i guess you could call it and uh, uh, it'll work with a lot of different things the straps themselves are decent. I mean, they're not the, the thickest, uh, best ones I've seen, but they're definitely not the worst. And, uh, you know, they should hold up for quite some time. So you're getting a, a lot of use out of these, actually. With that said, though, when you're not using the rack and you're driving around, you know, it's probably a good idea to take the straps and just kind of put them back into position. That way, you know, they're not bouncing around and, and everything else. Something that you do need to keep in mind whenever you have the rack on the back of your van is the fact that it is going to extend the overall length of it. And with these being relatively long already, something you really want to think about, especially if you're pulling into a small garage or a tight parking spot, something like that. Uh, to figure out exactly how much length it's going to add, we'll measure from our rear glass there. And it looks like it's going to add about 37 inches. Um, so something to think about, like we said, and uh, the arms actually will fold down and become relatively compact whenever you're not using the rack. So in order to do that, there's a pin and a clip here. Pull that on out. The arms will swing down. We'll put that pin and clip back. And when the arms uh, swing down like this, it actually hardly takes up any space at all. Looks like the furthest point will probably be down here. And so with this one, I'll just measure from the bumper. Be a little easier. And from the bumper to it, looks like it's only going to add about 10 inches to the back of your van. So in this position, even if you do have a small garage, uh, it really shouldn't run into any issues. Do you want to address one of the, the big questions that we get asked a lot? And that is, you know, are you still going to be able to get access to the back of your Pacifica when you have the rack in place? And with this one, the answer is yes. Uh, it does fold down out of the way and allows you to do that. There's gonna be a few steps to, to be able to do that. Um, I wish it was a little more simplified, but I mean, it's really not the end of the world. You're gonna have this T-handle here you can loosen up. And then pen and clip, pull that out. And then this uh, T-handle here, you pull up on that. And it's gonna drop down. And with it like this, it'll give you enough space to be able to open up your rear hatch and get whatever you might need uh, in and out of the back of your Chrysler. 
So moving on down here, the rack is going to work with those two inch by two inch receiver tube openings like we have here today on our Chrysler. And it's also going to come included with an anti-rattle bolt. All right, and what that's going to do is eliminate any slop or play here in the connection point. And that's going to prevent it from clunking around and making a bunch of noise uh, when you're driving. So kind of giving an example on how it's going to work. Let's say if we're going down the road, hitting some bumps, you can see that the rack is moving with our van and not on its own. But other than that, at the end of the day, you know, it's going to be a great way to get a lot of bikes to and from the trails and get to spend some quality time uh, out there riding with your friends and family. This is our test course. Let's start with the slalom. This shows side to side action, such as turning corners or evasive maneuvering. Then onto our alternating speed bumps. This shows twisting action, such as hitting curbs, potholes, road debris, or even uneven pavement. Last of all, the solid speed bumps. This shows up and down action, such as driving through a parking lot or parking garage, or driving in and out of a driveway. And that'll finish up our look at of the Kurt Premium Hitch Mounted Bike Rack on our 2021 Chrysler Pacifica.